Okay, we are going to do a quick tutorial on how to install Crossover Linux. You're looking currently at my Fedora desktop. Let's go to System Monitor. It's Fedora Release 9 with the latest Linux kernel and the GNOME desktop. It is an entry level computer system with a gig of RAM and uh, AMD Sempron. 3200 processor, so a $29 processor with an 80 gig serial ATA drive and a DVD rewritable. Of course, you can't see that there. Okay, so entry level computer system running the latest Fedora Red Hat. We'll just open Firefox. It's completely up to date, so as you will see. We're using Firefox version 3, so latest Firefox. We want to go to cross, sorry, we'll go to Code Weavers, crossover, and just do a search on Google. That's my desktop, uh, my homepage that you can see there. So we'll just do a Google search, a Google search. We'll do a Google search for Code Weavers, and here it is, codeweavers.com. OK, you can get it for Linux or you can get it for Mac. As we've just seen, it is a Linux system that we have here. So we'll go over to Products, click on that. Crossover Linux. And there we have it. For most people, the Crossover Linux standard will do. I have multiple users use this system, so I like to have the Crossover Linux Professional. Either one, the installation is the same. As you can see, I've already done this, so I'll just purchase the one, go to checkout, pay however you're going to pay, they'll give you a download. The download will come in, and <coughs> you will get an RPM for a Red Hat or a Linux system. OK, so what we'll do is to install this, we'll just open a terminal. We'll check with yum. We need to be super user, so we'll type su to be super user and your root password. I know where um, uh, download we want. So we CD to wherever you've saved that. I happen to have saved it there. There it is, Crossover Pro in the red. With yum, we'll just check. It won't install with yum, but it's worth checking because Although it won't install it, I might, but probably won't. It will tell us whether the dependencies need resolving any dependencies. Okay, so let's see if it'll do it. Might do it because the RPM isn't signed, but the dependencies have been resolved, so all it was going to do was install that. Therefore, you can comfortably install that with RPM. Minus IVH, CRO, and you know that there aren't any other dependencies. That's worth knowing. I check that all the time if I am installing an RPM. So we RPM minus IVH, crossover pro, just CRO, and then just tab will give you the rest of the information. And that's it, it's installed. We'll just exit our root shell and exit again. We'll close that down. We go up here to Locations. You'll see Crossover is installed now. We can install Windows Software. Code Weaver's Crossover Professional. And have we can take it from there. And that is how easy it is to install Crossover on a Linux Fedora system. From there you can install Flash Player, Internet Explorer 6, 
Lotus Notes, Microsoft Office, all different versions. And I will be installing Microsoft Office later. World of Warcraft, Steam, for any of you people who want to use Steam style games, Quicken, QuickBooks. Okay, and that is how easy it is. In fact, that's all we have time for now. You'll find that I have other videos up there installing some of those other some of the other software that I just mentioned. So check those out and thanks for watching. Bye.